Hello, Alex Greater Q Integrations. Um, I'm on a job site right here and thought I would show you just something I used to I use on the road quite often when I'm hanging um, line arrays or any type of speaker in the air uh, that has external amplifiers and you need to test it either before it goes up on the grid or uh, when you need to test something and, and make sure you're getting um, cable. There's no cable breaks or anything like that. Turns out this is very handy also in uh, the integrations end install. It's a real confidence booster for um, your clients um, when you can play a little noise through the speakers after you ran all the speaker cable through the wall. <laughs> so let me show you what we got going on. I'm turning around here. All right, so here is a little cab driver and I just put in the bare ends here on the banana plug. I didn't have a banana plug today, so that just worked fine though. And you see you've got the speaker going through the wall all the way around. And then over here, I just sat a speaker. This is a surround sound speaker for the back motions lab, motions lab stuff. It's really good. Um, anyways, plugging that in there and good way to just do a quick little test so I'll turn on my cab driver it's just powered by double a's and make sure i got a connection and we can hear pink noise right there Pink noise, of course, is a great thing because it exposes all kinds of um, issues. If there was an issue with crossover, issue with the tweeter or the driver or anything like that, the low-range driver, you would know right away um, because it exposes everything because it's 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz as well as you can kind of hear the reflections of the room. All kinds of great stuff I'll talk about later. So there you have it, uh, the cab driver, a uh, very handy tool and like using it. And found a new use for home install, home integrations, and pretty happy with it. All right, have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Just a couple quick corrections. Um, the surround sound speakers I tested are actually Martin Logan Motion FX. That's Martin Logan Motion FX. And also something to kind of talk about in regards to, uh, hang on a second, in regards to um, testing cables and things like that is I had already done a short test and polarity test with just normal cable testing or meters or whatever you want to use um, so that I knew the cables were good to begin with. But it's just a confidence booster and gives you a feel of the room and kind of the acoustics you're going to be dealing with and that kind of stuff. So I'm a fan of always playing peak noise through everything.